It's your girl, Georgia. Zoff the Remy, had a bad news. Had to hit my old town, let's get the news. Two four hour lockdown, we made no moves. Now it's no way in. And I'm back up, popping with you. What's good, YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jordan. In today's video, I'm going to be actually reviewing this wig that is on my head, oh guys. Yesterday, I actually did a poll on my Instagram story asking y'all if you would like a review on this hair, and 28 of y'all said yes. So shout out to everybody who actually participated and voted on that poll. You guys are loved, you guys are appreciated. So with all that being said, make sure that you subscribe to me on this channel, push that notification bell, follow me on all my other social medias. That information is posted in my intro to this video as well as the description box down below. But without further ado, let's get into this review. Okay y'all, so this is a Bobby Boss unit and I literally just randomly on a whim picked her up from the beauty supply store one day. I've I had this wig for a very long time but I had not touched it because I was super intimidated and when I tell y'all this is your disclaimer that you're getting from this video I am NOT a wig layer I am NOT a wig snatcher almost all the wigs that I wear on a consistent basis I can wear them like a hat I literally throw it on my head and I go shout out to city girl curls but this ain't about them right now this Bobby boss unit is actually really nice even though I just started wearing her I was not taking good care of her when I wasn't wearing her she was not sitting on a wig head she was not sitting in a safe place she was just kind of thrown into a closet and left there to get nappy dusty now that I actually pulled her out and kind of customized her and did my thing so I can wear her she is sitting pretty and she is acting very well this is a synthetic wig I don't remember how long it is because I don't have any of the original packaging but if I can find it and look it up I will pull it up and put it somewhere in this video for y'all to see again though this is a synthetic wig and synthetic wigs do tend to get a little bit nappy sometimes I have been wearing her for a few days now and she is honestly she's doing pretty well I'm not gonna lie to y'all she's doing pretty well the one thing that I would say about this wig though if you're gonna be wearing her out in public which I have also done you're probably gonna need to bring a brush just because she do tend to nap up a little bit like that's tangled G and mind you this is after I plucked it so it did get a little bit nappier after I plucked it but I'm gonna brush it out for you guys here on camera just so you can see how it sits when it's completely detangled because when she detangled child she is smooth I have never put heat on this hair I have never washed this hair I have never done anything to this hair aside from pluck the hairline to the best of my ability and add concealer to the lace and add this little baby hair in the front but I only paid I think about 40 50 dollars for this wig when i first bought it and considering that that was the investment i think this is very much so worth it again she is synthetic so she is going to tend to be a little bit nappier than the average wig but even when she gets nappy what you guys just witnessed is the nappiest it ever really gets for me so that's still not terrible and you can't really physically see it so i am going to give you guys a spin around just so you can see how the hair looks how the hair sits because this is an asymmetrical bob and y'all this is not a sponsored video so um hit bobby boss if you want to heat me up and send me some hair so i can review it i'd be more than happy to but for my subscribers and for anybody who comes across this video i'm not getting paid this is coming straight from the heart i'm very genuine even if it was something sent to me i'm not gonna sit up here and lie on camera because i'm getting coins like if your product is trash it's trash and i'ma tell y'all So now that y'all have seen how she sits on my head and how she lays and acts when she's fully detangled, you guys get the full effect of this wig. Again, it is an asymmetrical bob. It came cut like this. I did no other customization other than 
playing around with my edges in the front, playing around with the lace and plucking away at the hairline. So I'm gonna insert a couple pictures and probably a video clip as well, just so you guys can see what the inside of the wig cap comes with. But this is the only con that I can really come up with that's kind of reasonable for this wig. Cause I have seen synthetic wigs that have a lot more lace and parting space than this. This wig did not come with much space to play around with the hairline and to make it look really natural. The way that I plucked it, I did the best that I could. This is my first time plucking a wig into realism per se, but I will insert pictures of the before and after, or at least you can, I'll label it to where you can see the side that's plucked versus the side that's not. This is the first time that I've done any of that stuff for real and like genuinely put effort into it, but I couldn't do a lot because there wasn't a lot of space for the lace. Another con that I had about the wig is definitely the color that the lace came with. It, it was like a dark brown, and honestly for my chocolate sisters, that might have worked for y'all. That truly might have worked for y'all, and I would have been hella happy for you, but for me personally, I had to put some concealer on this jaw, and honestly, that might just be part of my routine for every time that I install the wig as well, because I am one that does not sleep in my hair, especially my Synthetica's, and this is a Synthetica for the millionth time, but it's probably just gonna be part of my routine to add concealer when I plan on wearing this wig, because I spray water to take it off so I'm not ripping my edges out, you feel me? Because I do not do the ball cap method either. If y'all would like a tutorial to see how I throw this on my head, because I quite literally throw it on my head with a little bit of glue in the front and call it a day. So let me give y'all a close up of what the front looks like. I literally only apply glue from about here to here on the lace, but this is all I did. I literally only did this. You can't really tell the plucking job that I did because again, I, there's no bald cap method over here, child. I don't got time for it. Considering that I am a 100% beginner in the wig game and I'm not about the wig life like that, if you are interested in buying a cute little cheap synthetic wig that you can play around with, I definitely suggest copying this because I did literally no customization. I did not wash it. I did not put heat on it. I did not bleach the knots. I did not do anything aside from pluck a little bit of the hairline just a just a little bit of the hairline just a little bit because like i said there's not a lot of space for us to maneuver around that part so if you're interested in buying this wig if i can find the details i will link it in the description box down below so you can cop her online or i would suggest if you have a local beauty supply store go in there and just ask them because this wig is very very common and it probably can be found in your local beauty supply because that's where i got it from and i was chilling so my pros about the wig are definitely the fact that it was so easy to deal with considering that I'm a beginner with zero experience. The second pro that I have is the fact that it's lasted all this time. Like I, I didn't touch it, but I didn't maintain it. I didn't keep it on a wig head. I didn't keep it in a place that it wouldn't get nappy and tangled. And I was able to just put her on my head and just comb it back out, pluck her out and let that be the reason. And she was perfectly fine. So I do think that this is a good quality synthetica. That's again on my pros list. She looks super cute. Like, can we get into this color? And the thing about this wig, she comes in multiple different colors. She comes in blonde, she comes in red, I believe. She comes in this blue, she comes in black all together. Like you can get this asymmetrical bob and switch it all the way up. You can literally buy this same wig like four times for the price of a wig that you would get off of one of these random websites that be sponsoring hair. Another pro that I have is definitely the price. It's definitely affordable, especially when you compare it to the prices of these other wigs because child, the most I've spent on a wig is over $600. Do you know how much that makes my chest hurt? Do you understand how much that makes my chest hurt? hurt she's very affordable so there's three pros right there for you the only cons that i can think of is the lace color that it comes with i'm not really a fan of the color that the lace came but if you know what you're doing you can just bleach the knots or you can buy some lace tint or you can just use your regular makeup again i used concealer on the part and the lace in the front just so i can blend it more with my actual skin tone the other only con that i can think of is the fact that there's no real lace space there's like maybe an inch or two of lace 
lace that you can play around with to try and make your hairline not look wiggish. Those are my only two cons that I could even think of. Everything else about this wig is definitely on the pro side. I think it's worth the investment, especially if you know what you're doing and you know how to take care of your wigs. It's also very easy to refresh a synthetic wig. If you haven't heard of it already, you should definitely look into the boiling method. It wasn't even necessary for me to do that to this wig, but you know what? But if you got a raggedy synthetic wig, you heard it here first. If you haven't already heard it somewhere else, go look up the boiling method and the girls on YouTube will teach you all about how to revive a synthetic wig. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for y'all. I'm sorry if this seems super out of order or repetitive, but I haven't been in the hair game for a while. I have not uploaded hair content for a while, and I really haven't done no wig review in a very long time. So please bear with me. If you want another review, you know that you're gonna get a genuine review from me. So let me know if there's anything else that y'all are interested in, especially based off my Instagram. Go follow me. I wear all my wigs and they are all showcased on Instagram. So if you would like in-depth reviews on all of the wigs that I wear on there let me know in the comments down below or just go follow me on Instagram and participate in my polls and you can always comment questions too I try to do a good job at staying on top of stuff like that so I really hope that this was a quick and simple little review I hope that it was helpful for anybody interested in buying this hair I hope that you are persuaded to go and cop this wig because if you know what you're doing definitely cop it because you will have a easy time with this wig if you don't know what you're doing this could be your first little test wig play around with it I'm gonna stop rambling because I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over and over and over again again follow me on all my other social medias hit me up on Instagram if you're interested in me doing other reviews or try on hauls let me know what kind of content you want to see from me next follow me on all of my social medias subscribe to my channel my mama calling me hold on i don't know where i left off so i'm just gonna reiterate to follow me on all my social medias if you have questions go through my instagram because i'm the most active on there comment on this video for what kind of content that you want to see from me next subscribe to this channel click the notification bell do all of that and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one bye